think I'm going to do something that a lot of you are not going to agree with and a lot of you may not like me doing. Well, hello there, you beautiful people. How are you on this awesome day? I want to welcome you to Trucking with Schmidt. Right now, we're in Des Moines, Iowa. We're getting unloaded. Looks like they got us locked in. He's already told me it's going to take a short time. And if you remember from yesterday's video, a short time is extremely short because it only took him 20 minutes yesterday. Guys, if you're new to the channel, this week, it's a screwy week. Let's just put it that way. I don't usually run these uh, extreme local runs here. And I, I, I don't usually talk about people being sick all the time. So if you're new to the channel, just, just hang with me. We're going to get through this together. And uh, I want to thank everybody again. You know, everybody on this channel, all my subscribers, and even if you're not a subscriber and you've been leaving comments, in the comment section. Hey, you remember yesterday? My mommy waited all the way till uh, almost 10 o'clock at night to call me. Well, she just called me again, so I gotta take this. I'll be back with you guys. Well, we're off the phone with mommy. <laughs> you always gotta get a daily call from mom, right guys? Well, another thing's good. We are unloaded. Well, once we're unloaded, now we're going to run over to Sioux City, Iowa. We're going to drop this trailer off. Then I think I'm going to do something that a lot of you are not going to agree with and a lot of you may not like me doing. But I've had enough. I really have. Let me fill you in. If you've missed out on a few videos, let me fill you in on a little bit of what's going on at home. Really quick. My daughter and my wife have been tested positive for the virus and they are now both quarantined. Well, since they both got tested positive, my son had to quarantine too. My son was not sick. My son was healthy enough. He could have gone to school or he could have gone, more importantly, he should have gone trucking with me. I could have kept him healthy and safe in the truck. Well, needless to say, guys, I I think little Bud has it. And uh, if you remember from me talking to you last week, our goal was to keep little Bud from getting it because when he gets sick, he goes down. This is my fault. This is 120% my fault. I should have I should have fought harder and said no, he's going to come with me in the truck. If he can't go to school, he's going to come with me in the truck. And I can keep him healthy doing that. But I didn't and now I think he's sick. I think he's getting tested today showing all the symptoms of having the virus <sighs> ridiculous I I should have done better I should have fought harder I should have 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 you know the best part about a, about I should have is we're never know right well I'm gonna do something I think you guys are probably not gonna agree with I'm going to go home.
know, before we go freaking out, though, I guess, you know, I, I texted Warden, and Warden says that he's fine. She's just a little worried about a few symptoms that he's throwing out. So, you know, he might even just test positive, or test negative, and I'm sitting here moaning and groaning to you guys for no reason at all. I don't, you, you, you just never know, right? You, you never know. You know, I, I often wonder why I tell you guys these things. <laughs> you know, I follow a lot of farming channels on uh, YouTube. And, you know, there's one one farmer, you know, he got a, uh, his son got tested positive. And he told us, then he moved on and went right back, right back to farming. He didn't talk about it with you guys like, you know, I do or any of this other stuff that he added in on it or anything. And I was thinking, you know, why can't I do that? I, I should probably just do something like that with my channel. Because his channel's huge. Maybe that's what people want. And then it dawned on me, no, I, I'm not going to feel bad for saying what I want to say on my channel. Because, well, he's home every night. Every single night, every single day, actually. He's a farmer, so he, he works right at, right, right at the house. And... That's, that's, the, that's the choice he was handed, you know, and this is the profession I chose. You know, I chose to be a truck driver. I still haven't figured out sometimes why I chose to be a truck driver, but I did choose to be a truck driver. It, it's just, it, it's what I do. And right now, I'm really regretting not being a normal dad, you know, a normal normal man who's home every night and being with them you know and you know I think a lot of reasons I tell you guys the things I tell you is because a lot of you can relate you know there's a lot of truck drivers out here who right now are saying you know I, I think I do the same thing now granted there's probably a few of you that are wanting to reach to your phone and smack me upside the head and say what are you thinking Schmidt you might get sick you might get you know, you're gonna miss work, you're gonna, it, oh man, what are you thinking? Well, this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I can't do it anymore. I'm not strong enough. I, I, I need to be home with them. I need to, every single day, every single minute driving down this road, you know, I it's not like farming. I can't get my mind off of it because all I have is time to think. What? That place looked good? <laughs> you're so cute when you're starving. Well, let's think about this on a positive note right now. Let, let's be done talking about negative just for a little bit. Yes, Mr. Opie has seen the, the, the beautiful arches of McDonald's and he knows it's time for a cheeseburger and right now we're in Boone Iowa we're taking highway 30 across I know I have a few of you as subscribers here in Boone Iowa let's see if I can remember names right now Pam I think Pam I hope it's Pam there's a couple of you I, I can remember the name Pam though when I think of Boone Boone Iowa is pretty town it really is they have a huge racetrack here and it's a real popular thing in Iowa you know I often ask myself if people are looking at me kind of silly when I'm walking through the drive-through yes he has his McDonald's yes I'm going to do a little bit of stress eating today too I'm going to join him we are stressed we need to eat you want something do you need something sir huh here, over here is grass. Come on, let's go. That poster work. Yeah, I think I have a few subscribers in Boone, Iowa here. And I'm, I'm almost positive I think Pam is the right name. I really do. I'm sorry, I can't remember the other one's names. I do, I really, really am sorry. I, I think the only reason I can remember Pam is because I have a cousin named Pam. Please forgive me. All right, we're gonna go for a little walk here. We gotta walk around the 
Mayor Opie, we're gonna walk around the car wash, get some walking time in. Oh yeah, that's what you've been waiting for. You know, Opie, the things I do to get you McDonald's, this is not in the most convenient place for a truck. There you go. But it works. You're worth it. Yes, you're worth it.
guys, we made it to Sioux City. We kicked that trailer off, got rid of it, then we came home. We just pulled up, haven't gone inside yet, but I figured I wanted to talk to you guys first. Let's give you just a quick little rundown. All right, Tater Tot, she got, she got a positive test for COVID. Well, and the turnout there is she's feeling great right now. She still does not have her smell or her taste. She's freaking out a little bit, but she is feeling great. Warden, my wife, she got tested positive for COVID. She had a four, she had four tough days there. Her days were uh, kind of tough. You know, the lack of breathing, the lack of being able to do anything, and the feeling miserable part. She still is a little bit on the weak side in the wise of breathing, but she as well is feeling great. Almost spunky. Little bud. Little Bud was throwing us some symptoms last night, a little bit today. So, Warden took him down, got him tested. He's too young to do the quick test, the fast test, so he actually had to get his brain stabbed. Those results won't come back in for three days. Warden and Tater Tot, they are, they're done with their quarantine, the, the mandatory 10 day quarantine. You get tested positive for COVID, you're down and out for 10 days. Little Bud, He's not done yet since he has not yet been tested positive for COVID what happens now is his quarantine was for 14 days so he has some more days left we will have to see in three days what his results are to depend on what's going on here because I am gonna go inside that house if he gets a negative test you guys will see me back out on the road within a, a few days here uh, probably towards the latter part of the week if he gets a positive test well we're gonna pass that bridge when we get there once again thank you thank you thank you for all the prayers and thoughts for my family you guys like I say at the beginning of every video you guys are truly amazing people give yourselves a pat on the back you have officially made this truck driver feel great and make it through a week a very stressful week but you guys cannot imagine how good I feel right now being in front of this house. I feel awesome. Like beyond awesome. Oh yeah, and another thing beyond awesome, we have received mail. I'm kind of curious what's in it, but we're going to wait to open it till maybe tomorrow or the next day. We're going to go ahead and start making another video and we're open it then just to see what's all in it. It's coming from Blaine, Kentucky. And have you guys seen it? We are so close. So close to 10,000 subscribers. I think we're about 600 subscribers shy. We are almost to that 10,000 subscriber mark. Like I said, you guys are an awesome group. So if you guys want to go ahead and subscribe to this group, I don't think you're going to regret it. If you like the video, go ahead and throw a like down there. All right, guys, you guys keep safe. And as always, I'll see you next time.